I am so thrilled that I checked off one of the items from my wish list for this year. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video is a BCA unboxing. So before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to my first commenters from my last video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Please continue to support me as I grow in this luxury community. And also please make sure to follow me on my socials, which I will leave it up here and also in the description box. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have two bags here from BCA or Van Cleef and Arpels. I hope you watched my recent uh, shopping vlog which I showed you guys uh, some eye candy from Van Cleef and Arpels. This particular item it was not available at the boutique. Actually let me take it back. It was available uh, I believe in uh, April. This item was not available at the boutique at this time however when I went to the boutique when I picked up my beautiful Birkin bag when I went to the boutique at Van Cleef and Arpels I tried on some bracelets that time and I was supposed to get one as a Mother's Day gift that time um, in I was trying on this particular item during the time and my essay already warned me that what you see today during the time you might not be able to get it when you come back it might take so long to order again so she said since she already has that particular item so she's encouraging me to get it that day instead of waiting again however during that time i was so focused with my baby birkin my birkin bag that i was picking up that day i told her i'm coming back because i'm going on vacation first when i come back that's the time i will definitely get this item so obviously I didn't come back after my vacation because I was super busy at work and so I had a chance to come back this month. Early this month, I went to Van Cleef and Arpels and I am ready to get this piece and she said this one, it will take about two to three weeks to get it but it's orderable. They still have it and she already told me that I have to get it right away because in August usually there is a there's a holiday in Paris and they might not get any shipment from Paris because the whole month of August they have uh, a holiday so after August it, they might get shipments again in September I already placed my order um, early this month so she told me it may take about two to three weeks and that's why you see me I have two bags here because the first bag is actually just a bag my receipt from Van Cleef and Arpels when I order this particular item chocolate and also I still have the water bottle here the Perrier bottle let's take a look at this um, chocolate I hope you can see it so I have chocolate here there you have it it looks so yummy so pure Brazilian ganache and Mendian's fruits praline it looks so yummy I tried this um, in December that's the chocolate let me try just one I want the lighter color the lighter chocolate melting so good okay just one really good it says la maison du chocolat i believe we went to this place in paris it's really really good 
So this is just the receipt from my essay uh, from Van Cleef, which is July. Oh, there, there you go. It's July 2nd, 2022, when I purchased this. I pre-ordered this, and I was thinking which one is easier to get, but she told me this particular item, which I was really eyeing on last time. This one is more faster, according to her. I don't know if she's just telling that because this is more expensive. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My essay said it may take two to three weeks. However, sometimes it may take earlier than that. So she's going to text me once the shipment arrives. So she finally texted me last week and I finally went yesterday to pick up this beautiful piece from Van Cleef and Arpels. So you can see this bag. It says here BCA Van Cleef and Arpels. And on the back, it says Van Cleef and Arpels. I am so thrilled that I checked off one of the items from my wish list for this year. I think I've checked off a lot of stuff, a lot of items on my wish list for this year, including this one, my Perlay ring, and other stuff. I will definitely uh, update you guys for the items that I checked off from my wish list this year. Stay tuned for that um, video. So now let's start to unbox this beautiful piece from Van Cleef and Arpels. Of course, I still have the water bottle here, uh, Perrier. So I love, love, love Perrier. I love sparkling water. And yeah, I stopped drinking champagne, wine. It's been almost six months now. Um, I got some more chocolates here, which I already showed you the other one that I got from my previous visit. So I got my receipt here. Of course, whenever you pick up, even though I already paid it last time, I have my other receipt here from the other bag. Normally, whenever they release something, they will issue another receipt for you. So that's why I got another receipt here. This is July 16, 2022, which is yesterday. I took a picture earlier of the contents of the bag here. And I noticed she forgot, my essay forgot to give me the travel pouch, which is like similar to this, but it should be the skinnier one, the long skinnier one. But I already texted her. Hopefully the next time I go, I'll pick it up from her. So I have here two books here from Van Cleef and Arpels. This one is for the Alhambra collection. And the other one is the newest collection, which I will share with you. So in case you don't have this book, let me show you what's the content of this book. That's the beautiful Malachite um, collection. That is the Agate. So this one is the Carnelian. By the way, the Carnelian necklace they have the Sweet Alhambra, the Vintage one, this one is the Magic, and there is no butterfly for the necklace. This one is the Mother of Pearl collection, similar to my set, Mother of Pearl in Vintage Alhambra. Um, Mother of Pearl is very delicate. I used to have the bracelet and I sold it because it didn't work out for me and because of the sizing as well. Also, I think this is the hammered bracelet five motif hammered and this one is the perlay he's wearing a onyx vintage alhambra ring another mother pearl in white gold in magic size this one is the carnelian and this one is also this one has diamonds so this one is the guilloche collection which is very very pretty this is like the gray mother of pearl in magic pendant another mother of pearl with diamonds i think that's it yeah so that's that for that book and this one is the newest uh, collection it's the butterfly collection from vca or van cleef and arpels so if you are um fan of this butterfly i think i'm not yet sure about this i tried on the little one the sweet 
mother of pearl uh, um, necklace because that's the only one that they have for the butterfly in, in the Alhambra collection but yeah but I think I like the blue one the agate yeah and that's the ring beautiful ring and this one too they have the brooch it's a lucky animals dove brooch um, this one or a clip or like that yeah the time pieces too are very beautiful look at that I went to their event uh, last year they have so many beautiful time pieces that I really really love uh, I believe those are brooches there's diamonds and Eric is for the book and now um, this is the authenticity card uh, another booklet with authenticity card and this one is care advice book from Van Cleef and Arpels and then this is the authenticity card let me that says authenticity card can you see it and that's the back the back says BCA there Van Cleef and Arpels there is a seal and it says here authenticity certificate authenticity yeah, that's the back but then here we got information here which I'm not going to show you guys so it was purchased on July 16 2022 so I got that and and let's open this beautiful box as you can see the box you probably already know what it is by looking at this box this beautiful Van Cleef and Arpels box so this is the ribbon it says Van Cleef and Arpels right there it's a beautiful green Van Cleef and Arpels let's remove and unbox this beautiful piece there you go here is that is the box and when you open it any guesses guys if you've seen my uh, shopping blog you probably know which one I got please make a guess and leave it in the comment section below I want to see what you guess what I got here it is Dun, da, da, da. so what I got is the beautiful five motif guilloche bracelet in yellow gold it's a beautiful stunning piece from Van Cleef and Arpels I love 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 it it is very beautiful so this is the five motif guilloche bracelet in yellow gold um, this one retails 5350 this is how it looks it's very very pretty and yeah so it's in vintage alhambra bracelet five motif yeah five motifs guilloche yellow gold the class is hallmark small model in yellow gold bracelet wrist size is 7.48 inches so within one year if you want to remove the links of the chain so now they change their policy if you want to shorten your um, bracelet or your necklace you have one year to do that for me in my case i've already tried and last time my essay said i don't think i need um, to adjust or shorten this bracelet but before when i had my mother of pearl uh, alhambra bracelet before i didn't want to remove some links from the bracelet because i know it was too big for me before but um, personally it's my own preference that i don't, didn't want to remove the links which is good i didn't remove it because i ended up selling it so this time um, i don't need to remove the links of this bracelet is because they are perfect for my wrist this is how it looks this is the back as you can see it is so so beautiful I love 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 this guilloche um, vintage Alhambra I was 
contemplating between this or the hammered bracelet. This Gyoshe bracelet or the Gyoshe collection, this one is prone to scratches, similar to my uh, Cartier bracelet. I was already warned by my essay that it will happen and there's no way for them to remove the scratches because once it's scratched, there's no way for them to remove it. You just have to be very careful, but I've watched some, some videos about it. They can't really, uh, there's really no way to remove it, but you just have to live with it. This is meant to wear it, so I might as well, you know, just enjoy it. I was contemplating between the hammered uh, five motif or the guilloche. But my essay said this one will arrive faster if I order it. But then I was really eyeing on this one. But I was also thinking about it. This is prone to scratches. I was thinking about the hammered five motif bracelet. That one you don't really need to worry about the scratches because of the, the style of it or the design of the hammered bracelet. But this one really speaks my name. Like when I was trying this on at the boutique, it was really, really pretty. I really, really love it. And that's why I ended up getting this one instead of the hammered one. So this is the close-up look. I will try to do a close-up look for this one. And it is really, really pretty. And this is the back. And that is the clasp. Let me try to put it on. I am wearing so much right now, but hopefully I'll be able to show you. This is the beautiful Gyoshe bracelet in yellow gold. So I think I really, really love all gold for me. Yeah, I think yellow gold is really my preference now. I am not sure about the other gemstones. But never say never, maybe I'll come back and get uh, another gemstone. So it's really easy to wear it. So this is how it looks on me. I don't think I'm going to adjust this. I think it's just perfect for me. So you can actually twist one of the motifs here so that it will get it shortened if you want to do that but just be careful because you don't want to ruin it so you can just do that instead of shortening it I think that's the better way to do it oh my god I'm so in love with this I love all gold yellow gold particularly because yellow gold is is more when it comes to the value of the gold it's more compared to the other color although white gold is also expensive how do you like my new stack it's just so pretty I love my new stack this one is just white gold on my left side I also went to Rolex they're all out of stock they don't have any inventory right now oh my god so anyway I think it is perfect with my Cartier love bracelet with diamonds and my other bracelet here um, this one is the Cartier D'Amour I love 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 this charm right here and also my Cartier Justin Plou bracelet with diamonds in the small version or small model I love 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 it I think it doesn't matter for me if my uh, vintage Alhambra set is not the same as my bracelet because I know this is not an everyday bracelet but to me I don't have to maintain it's low maintenance when uh, compared to the mother of pearl that's why I rarely use this mother of pearl because it's very sensitive um, compared to um, the all gold um, vintage Alhambra like this guilloche or the hammered one it's more low maintenance I know it's prone to scratches but you will actually not notice the scratches because of the design of the the guilloche it has the um, like the stripes 
uh, design so I don't know I've seen some videos they're showing the scratches of their bracelet but it was not really noticeable so I don't mind scratching this at least with the pure gold the guilloche I can wear this when I go swimming when I'm washing showering everything I don't really care about water get into my bracelet compared to the mother of pearl you really have to be very careful this is very very sensitive they said if you wet the mother of pearl it's gonna shrink which I did it once when, yeah so it is very very um, delicate I I wet it once it was before so I'm not gonna do it again because I was trying to use the cleaning cloth cleaning kit from Cartier and it is very delicate so here it is this is my new Van Cleef and Arpels five motif guilloche in yellow gold how do you like it guys I know guys I already said that I am on Van Island however this is not the bag category when I said I am on Van Island it is because I already got my new Birkin bag for this year and yes this is a different category it's a fine jewelry category so I'm not going to like this is my chance and I don't want to uh, wait for another price increase right now they didn't increase their prices back in May they the only thing that was affected is the high jewelry so I don't want to miss this I wanted to take this opportunity to get it now before it's too late before the price increase again at the end of this year so I am happy that I finally got this piece and it's one of the items from my wish list Let me know what you guys think about my new stack, my new guilloche bracelet from Van Cleef and Arpels. It's the five motif guilloche in yellow gold. Let me know what you guys think about my stack. Please let me know if you have any questions. Leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more unboxings and shopping vlogs. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!